Well, back on exports, the IMF is warning of a slowdown in global trade. Joining us to weigh in on this is SAPI President Dan Lachica. Dan, good to have you with us. Thank you, you, thank you represent the largest export-based group in the Philippines, around 49% of our export pie. Is that That's right? What's your outlook on exports and manufacturing? Well, uh, we're coming off a surprisingly strong 2015. In fact, we're being more conservative this year, projecting a 2 to 5% growth. Well, let's talk about the, sem uh, the state of manufacturing per se. Right. Let's look, one component strikes me as possibly vulnerable, especially with these declining iPhone and uh, Samsung phone sales. There are around 17 of your players and around two for Samsung, respectively. Uh, right. How are you looking at uh, nurturing that growth in light of the slowdown in sales? Well, the good thing about our member companies is they're not like uh, one-act shows. Uh, they don't really focus on one, just one product alone. They're very diversified, so any weakness in certain product lines are compensated, offset by other product lines. So, uh, in general, we do see in the whole sector itself, 70% of which is in semiconductors, 30% is in electronics, manufacturing services, uh, we do see a balancing, uh, a compensation. Some are growth uh, areas, others are not. But by and large, we see a you know a modest growth for the coming year. Yeah, Dan, I actually looked at Phoenix Semiconductors. It's only 25% that they actually produce for Samsung, and the rest of it is really balanced on these other segments. Now, yes. I want to talk about, uh, because the hot topic is election, mm -hmm. what are you expecting for the next president in term and administration in terms of boosting exports, having a renaissance of manufacturing, especially to your sector? Well, one economist said that regardless uh, of uh, whoever will be elected, we're going to see a continuing growth in the economy. I disagree with that. Uh, maybe that's good for maybe one quarter or two, but I think it's very important for the next president to be a good leader, knows the economics, good in foreign affairs, continuing the daang matuwid and uh, the, the achievements of the previous government, minimizing corruption, improving the infrastructure. Uh, but uh, whoever it is, uh, the industry will support the incumbent president. But I think it's very important for the new president to continue the growth path and to be a good leader. Well, you know, considering half of the export pie is attributable to your group, the question I have is how do you look at the trade agreements that are being signed right now? For example, EFTA was signed, the EU FTA is going to be signed. Are you looking at that trade diversification helping your industry as well? Absolutely. That's why I'm very concerned if we have uh, a leader who uh, upsets you know, our trade partners. Right? Or starts being insulated, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, in reality, the electronics uh, industry is really export-oriented. So by and large, we are not directly affected, but to the extent there's a lot of indirect effects. Because if you look at those uh, trade agreements, the FTAs and all that, that will reduce the overall cost of manufacturing. And so if you have those agreements affecting the Philippine operations, um, that will uh, translate into, redound into a lower manufacturing costs coming from the Philippines. And also access to new markets as well. Absolutely. Dan, appreciate your time. Thanks for your insights and look forward to them being carried out by the next administration. Okay, thank you very much.